Hello and welcome to the 2017 African Regional Conference in Abidjan, Côte d'Ivoire. I'm joined this morning by Kemi Adewole, who's the Managing Director of Paxil Minerva in Nigeria. Kemi, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Now, you've been speaking at this year's ARC on topics around the role that capital markets can play in regional developments and talking us through the, the Nigerian experience. Now, a couple of years ago, Nigeria launched a master plan to reform and revamp its capital markets by making them more competitive, opening them up to new investors and so on. We're now two years into this plan. How are things looking? Um, things are looking the way they should look because um, the committee that was set up that um, set up the master plan, it was a 10-year master plan. And there was a roadmap with a timetable. And um, from where I sit and from what I see, they have kept to the timetable. Um, they've been, you know, in the last two years, I think we're where we should be. There's been a lot of, um, there's, there's been a lot of, um, awareness you know for the average Nigerian which was part of what the problem was a lot of the average Nigerian didn't even understand what the capital market was about and um, how they could participate in the capital market there's also been a lot of um, you know there's been a lot of uh, strengthening the regulations around you know the capital market activities and I think really the success is actually based on the fact that we've had um, buy-in from the presidency at the highest level, key market operators, the SEC, um, the central bank, and of course the registers, the registrars, the custodians, the stockbrokers. And um, I think more so again, in the last couple of years, there's been a change of management at the Securities and Exchange Commission. And I think for me, that is a key pointer in the right direction. Since there was a change of management and the new management is still, you know, um, looking at the same roadmap and basically using it as the timetable to move forward. So from where I sit, I'm very happy because everybody that, that is a key um, stakeholder and key participant in the capital market is actively involved mm -hmm. and everybody is moving in concert. So I believe that as long as we stick to the roadmap and um, try and implement you know, the recommendations of the committee, we're on the right path. Okay, so there's, there's good sort of awareness is being uh, raised. We're seeing good stakeholder buy into the roadmap. Um, in terms of, I guess, the key challenges on the road ahead now, obviously the, the roadmap is very ambitious. Mm -hmm. Do you see these challenges being more around the economy or is it, uh, is it other, other issues that might come into play? Um, maybe I'm a very optimistic, um, I'm a very optimistic person. I think that um, I don't see a lot of the, I don't see a lot of challenges in that. Um, the committee did their work very well. They looked at the challenges, the risk, and they looked at what, we, what needs to be done and how we need to do it and when we need to do it. So if everything is documented and you're following, you know, you're basically following a curriculum, so to speak. Um, so I don't see a lot of challenges. And I think for once, um, whatever the challenges would have been in terms of regulations, um, implementing the regulations and all that. I think it was well documented and as long as we continue to follow the roadmap, I don't see what the problem is. Now, um, one of the key things there, however, um, which I think is ensuring that, you know, we don't, um, you know, the roadmap, we continue along the roadmap that's been uh, laid out is, um, you know, looking at the depth of the capital market itself and looking at new products and you know trying to look at developing Africa for developing the Nigerian market for Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Now um, they've looked at new products and tried to do a study of other, um, other jurisdictions and trying to transplant best practices from you know the region. I know there was a study done on Kenya and the successes they've had there at the retail level. They've looked at Sudan, and I think we also studied Malaysia. So really and truly, we're learning from other people and already looking at their mistakes and trying to make sure that we don't make those mistakes. So I think the time that we've started, I think that um, 
I don't really see too many challenges. So I'm, a, I'm an extremely optimist. optimistic That's person. That's great. So you're learning from the region, learning from the world, and applying those best practices. Okay. Just as a, as a final question, Kemi, um, as part of this wider reform agenda, lo Nigeria's local currency bond markets have been beefed mm -hmm. up in recent years through various reforms. What kind of role can they play in supporting uh, the infrastructure development in the country moving forward? I think really and truly it's one of the things that, um, that one of the recommendations that was made. We keep looking at a pool of large funds and then there's so much money in the environment, you know, there's so much money in the economy that is not really, you know, in the structured format. So what, um, what, what has been done is to also look at products. Uh, you know, for the retail uh, market. And um, they've come up with strengthening the mutual funds. They've reformed um, collective investment schemes, which basically means that the average person on the street can actually put a little bit of money towards, you know, a larger fund that can also be an infrastructure fund and used to develop so many other things. Instead of continuing to look for loans from other countries and you know from World Bank and all that. So um, I think a lot of the work we've done is actually looking inwards and looking at what we have. And there's been a lot of success there that's as well. That's great, so positive change in Nigeria for Nigeria. That's, that's good to hear. Kemi, thank you so much for joining us today.